Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to the Poker Resort. Today we're going to go over how you guys can find each and every one of the Poke Finder locations in Pokemon Sun and Moon. So let's get into it. So let's start out at Mele Mele Island and the first place is Haooli Cemetery. Now once you go there, you're able to catch the different Pokemon of Pikipek, Ghastly, and Zubat. The next place to go to on Mele Mele Island is Hauole City, which is in the beachfront where you're able to catch the different Pokemon of Pelipper, Wingle, and Drifloom. Now we're also staying in Hauole City where we actually played in the demo, which is in the shopping district. In the shopping district, you're able to find a Pikachu, Growlithe, Rockruff, and Meowth. Now you're going to have to surf to this next area, which is in Kalae Bay, and you're able to catch a Slowpoke and a Corsola. For the final trip of Mele Mele Island, you're able to go to the Mele Mele Meadow and you're able to catch a Cutie Fly and Oricorio. So now let's surf over to Akala Island where we'll start off at Brooklet Hill where you're able to catch three Pokemon there that consist of Poliwag, Surskit, and Dupiter. The next place we can go to is in Lush Jungle. If you go closer to the corner left end of the Lush Jungle, you're able to catch a Paris, Morilal, Bound Suite, and a Gudra. Next place on the tour guide, you're able to go to Paniola Ranch, which has an Eevee and Lillipup. After you get pictures of Eevee and Lillipup, go to Route 8, where you're able to get a Young Goose and Crab Rawler, but be ready for the Young Goose, because it is definitely tough to get a good picture of it. The next one's pretty easy to go to, which is in Royal Avenue, so if you go to the little flower garden, you're able to see a Wild Butterfree and Oricorio. Now for the last on the list for this island, you're able to go to Wella Volcano Park that has a Fletchling Cubone and Sandalit that you're able to take a picture of. For first on the list on Ula Ula Island, you're able to go to the Blush Mountain where you're able to get footage of El Elekid and Toge Tomorrow. The next place to go to is Mount Hakulane where you're able to capture a Beldum and a Clefairy. From there, go to Mount Lanakia and you're able to discover a Vanilla, Vanillish, and an Absol. And if you're in the mood to tell some ghost stories later on, go to the Thrifty Megamart abandoned site where you're able to get footage of Ghastly, Haunter, Gengar, and Mimikyu, and that's also part of a trial. As far as the final place that you're able to go to is the Ula Ula Meadow, where you're able to get footage of Ladian during the day, Arios at nighttime, and Oricorio at any time of the day. Now for the final island of Pony Island, it actually only has three locations, one being Pony Coast, where it has a Beware and a Fear that you're able to get footage of, Pony Meadow that has Oricoro, Rebombi, and Dragonite, so that one's a pretty fun one to get some legendary footage, and then for the very last one we have Vast Pony Canyon, where it has a lot of Pokemon of Gigalith, Jangmo-O, Hakamo-O, and Firo. Well that's it for today's episodes, if you guys are looking for more travel guides for Pokemon Sun and Moon, let me know in the comment section below because I'd happy to help you guys out for the games. Have a good one guys, and I'm out.